when you think of flamenco in its very natural native environment, it's very literally something that has no barrier between individuals because you're talking about a ch children who are singing with their parents, who are singing with their siblings, who are singing with their cousins. You know, they literally, they're separate people, but there's literally, when you get the flamenco going, it's literally the breathing and the heartbeat is together. There's one pulsation, there's one, uh, you know, pre-conscious impulse that's informing everybody. You know, the, 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 when I talk about hearing the music floating from a distance, it's like, it's very much just, uh, it's like a pre-conscious experience to experience that, and they're all sharing the same, the same ex pre-conscious experience at the same time. So it's like, so to get, to get that going, if everybody would be, you know, in, into it here, we can just do a little oming for a moment, if we can just get that, that energy in the room here. Let's take a bite of of that tono, flamenco tone, and of it's not just flamenco. It's flamenco because it's from every people on the earth. Especially now that we're doing it on this continent, you know, there's there was um, the Quinto Sol, right? Is how it was supposed to begin when the last mixing of blood from every single continent was supposed to happen on this continent in Mexico, right? That's what they were waiting for when Cortez arrived, and uh, so now that, that that makes that makes the flamenco game or the flamenco life and the, to the tono, everything that comes out of my mouth and Juanito's mouth and your mouth, all of us, it is somehow different. We are now, there, there is no more blood that can be mixed. We're, we, it's complete now, you know, when, uh, when they're waiting for Quetzalcoatl in Mexico, right? The bearded serpent came and, uh, and mixed there and now they're singing flamenco in Española, you know, and they had been for, it wasn't called flamenco then, they had alabaos, and uh, that's, that was one of my recollections, but let's, let's take a bite of that, and, and feel free expressing it in your way, because that, that is, that is what, that, that is what these tonos are all about, these are just some tonos that, that came to mind that have began to shape the way I approach things. And um, let me let me sing one of them, and then and then we'll we'll add them in. And and it's just it's a scale, and pretty soon we'll, we'll you can find your expression in your breath. I, I, now from there. I, what I, what I, when I started with that, because I, because people said you have to learn the tonos, you have to learn how to, how to, you know, all of these things. I, I don't know how to learn, and I just know how to taste them. You know, so I, you, you can just think back and think back to your own, your own, your own yanto, okay? I, I. that is the way I sing that and that scale is is now every every person's scale and now the way you express yourself on those lines is different one thing is the, a, a beautiful thing about flamenco and the guitar I mean that that is what's so nice that there cannot be sheet music for it because one one guitarist will say ping 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 and one will say ping ding like blues you can't it's not the same so it's the space between the notes, right? That's really that, that we fall in love with, and and when we go to see cantaores, we hear them sing and sing, and, and and until they clip their note off, that's their echo, and that's their signature. That's their that's their soul going. It's like they're they're, they're everything stopped, and the last bit of their soul kind of went and sucked itself, just like kind of like an ocean wave. You know what I mean? And so 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 just to to let you know a little bit about about how 
how um, my journey has been. That, that has been a big part of it, is seeking the foam in that. Just what, what is mine? What, what is mine? Because I, I don't have the same voice as any of you. No, no, none of us are alike. One of the greatest flamenco singers said, I can't teach you that. That is yours. I said, oh, too bad. I wish I could just have yours. <laughs> 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 His name was Enrique Lestremeño. La verdad, no Enrique Lestreveño. So let, let's uh, let's just learn the scale, and then from there we're going to add in add in your your llanto to it. The, the 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 first thing will be, I'll just give it to you again. Ay. That was a. That's, well, last night did you hear those beautiful blues tones that Juanito was adding in? That was his nature, and 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 the nature is so beautiful, and and I have a little blues tone in there that came from somebody that, who I borrowed and probably still have a tape of, I don't know, <laughs> some great blues man. Yeah, I have a lot of them. A lot of people have loaned me their music. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, it, it also, also people say, well, 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 you you shouldn't be doing that. You sound you sound like an Indian. I say, well, I am. So can I do it now? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and so so whatever. Don't don't ever. If somebody ever tells you, well, well, when you're doing that, you sound you sound like like you should have a penny whistle. You should say, well, I'm Irish. <laughs> you know, being being yourself is the greatest license in the world to do what you do. You know. And so let's go over that scale again and keep that in mind and, and try and hear your, 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 your tonos and yourselves that, that makes you who you are and how, how that foam, when it comes, you know, the wave comes up and when it leaves, it's like that. A lot of things that you can do with this. Hey, to David Ralph, I just heard it. I didn't know I did it, but I guess I do now. Hey, yeah. Or hey. Now that's like when you disengage your voice. Let a little, little bit, let a little bit still slip through, you know, a little bit. It makes, it makes, it makes it sabroso in that way. It just doesn't make it. That's one technique, right? <laughs> the one that is the last note. <laughs> but are you going? Or does it have to? <laughs> And, and and that's the horrible thing about having uh, guitarists around, is <laughs> is that you, you you have to remember where you started so that you can always stick to that place. You know what I mean? It's 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 nice. It keeps you in check. I now I have to remember where, where that scale is, and that's a good that's a very good practice. You know, <laughs> but it's kind of like when you have somebody who knows the truth about that story, and 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 you tell it to this person, and you have to remember to tell it like like it was when you were with them. <laughs> it's kind of like that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm from the north. There. My stories don't. I have diplomatic immunity from all of that. I can just tell. I can just tell the truth as it as, as it needs to be. You know, and that's a beautiful thing. Because I mean, because it's true. You know, I mean. <laughs> I, I mean, you have someone in there saying, "But you say you had a green coat on." You're like. <laughs> so let me tell you, the, the the coat doesn't matter. It doesn't. Maybe the coat needed to be green for that story. What mattered the the the, the bones and. And all of the meat and all of, you know, people say, well, just the, just the go to the bones. Well, no, I want to go to the bones, the meat, the soup. Mm, yeah. No, don't tell. Let's not get into a green coat or a blue coat, you know. What? So listen to this. Now, when I play with this one, and I play with this one all the time, and I do it, this is my warm-up drill, this is my cool-down drill, this is the whole, I don't know why, it's just, you know, some, somewhere, somewhere somebody, okay, I'll have it. Okay, that's, that's how it works with me. This is a thing that's very, very important to me. And, I, and from there, I, I find out how I, because I sing differently every time, depending on my mood, or I don't know, it, it's always so different. So I, I, can, I, can, I can sing this and find out how I'm feeling that day for flamenco. And today, it's like this, let me see. I, I, You see how you see how that softens those changes, and it's 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 a natural way to weep. I, 
you know, and and um, so that's that's a little bit about what that's about. And I I think that we had to go to we had to go there before we got into just some rhythms, which now we, the rhythms will make so much so much sense because then when we start to to hear it that way, you know, they always say guitarists are always saying que sea redondo, everything you do, make it round. Make it, it's good, it's on time, but it's not round yet. It's that sound. And Juanito used to talk to me about these singers, and he say, "They están tan redondo. Redondo is the nature of the sound. It wants to be that way." And I just I say, "What?" And 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 years later, I would think of Juanito teaching me these things, and 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 turning me onto these concepts about being redondo. And then I would watch these poets, and I would say, "Está redondo." The poetry is round, even though even though. Hey, When it's round, it's round, you know. It's a, and and I would think, well, how do, how can that how can this be round? Because it's not round. That's not a round. How can that be round? And one day I was riding my bicycle, and I remembered when we were kids, we would stick an ace of cards in our forks, right? Yeah. And it'd go. Pfft. So so when a dancer is dancing, if, and and they're just t t you know tapping out these rhythms, and the and the palmas are going, well, if it's redondo, then 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 instead of just the roundness going this way, now I have to think of it this way, but the mechanism of the sound is right here. So the wheel's actually turning this way, you know, and I was, I was imagining being redondo with... So then when you speed up, a bicycle can't just go... T -t 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 and if it does, then it has to be very deliberate, but it still has to be redondo, you know, round. And that is a very... I, I think that's one of the most sacred things in being able to to transmit flamenco and to be able to do it without... without um, without it not being redondo and without that space in between, you know, there's, there, it's just, that's, that's, the, that's the big mystery is what is redondo. And when it is redondo, it's sacred somehow. Yeah? Hable con ellos. No sé cómo me lo explica tú. This one? Mark? Thank you. Yeah, the, the whole, the round thing, I mean, it's, it's like, again, it's, it reminds me of martial arts where we train to do these, you know, like, the animal, you know, training with uh, to be like the animals, or to be like training alongside a, a stream of water, or, you know, like a, next to a willow tree or something. I mean, it's like this idea is like we want to make our nature return to nature and emulate the flow of the, you know, the the characteristics of other natural forces. I mean, that's what really makes flamenco have its real power is when sort of the personality is is you know, kind of vanishes, and we return to this aspect of nature. Like, to me, the one of the ways I, I think of this aspect, it's so vital in flamenco, is that, you know, we literally have pulsing through our body. We have perfect roundness and perfect fluidity, like the blood flow. Like, one thing that intrigued me was, like, you know, if you inject a small amount of air into the blood flow, you die, you get a heart attack. It's because it's a seamless pulsation, meaning there's no gap in it, and that's what you find... Uh, coming, let's say, uh, to, to flamenco from the outside, is that you'll get, you know, there's those, there's like these gaps that, in a sense, it's a mus musical heart attack, <laughs> and uh, and so the idea is like to be like water, to be like, I guess Bach said the music should be like oil, you know what I mean? That there's that continuity and always, you know, no matter what shape oil is, it always has a roundness to it, even if it's a weird a weird shape, it's always perfectly round, or just like the waves in the water too, as far as it goes, it always goes all the way to the end, it doesn't cut itself off and then come back when it feels like it, it goes all the way to the end and then it comes back, you know what I mean? That's, that is part of flamenco and that's one of the things that, that, that to me is about the culture of flamenco because you realize that these are, when you see the flamenco in its native environment, that these are people who, who literally learn this music and this feeling since they're in the womb. There, it's never broken, that feeling of the heartbeat, that, that pulsation that we naturally have in the body, it's never broken. And so, so that's a good image, I mean, the, the whole idea of water or oil or wind, you know, because wind too, wind doesn't start and then stop, you know, it just goes and it tapers off, you know, I mean, it might swell, but the swelling is always perfectly round too, I mean, even if it's a gust, it's round, I mean, that's the thing that Vicente was saying, it's like, no matter what the shape of it, it always has an aspect of totalness. It's like somehow as people we have the ability to cut and stop things and stop a flow. But the flamenco 
is, you know, what makes it flamenco, like Vicente said, what makes it the universal human thing is that it's this, what makes it, it gives it its appeal and gives it its intensity is that it's just basically, it's stylized force of nature in a sense. That's really all it is. It's tapping into that basic aspect of these natural forces and just doing it with like a Spanish accent or something, you know? <laughs> So. Let's go do that. Let's try it again. The chat. Redondo. Let's listen to the fire and to our own breath. One second. I. Flamenco rhythms. Um, yeah, that was very, yeah. Chime in one second about the rhythms then. The, the roundness, like Vicente was saying a minute ago, the roundness is absolutely in the rhythm as much as it is in the, um, in the singing. And that's, I guess, you know, that's the point of starting in a sense with why are we starting a rhythm class with singing and what we're talking about roundness. And it's the same thing, the, the, even a clap, which is a very dry sound, it has a shape. I mean, it really does. And it's like, It's about, you know, it's about finding that, like drops of water. The, yeah, the shape and like letting the time, the time, even though it's a very dry sound, you let the time, it's like, it, it's as if it exists aside from the people, the person. We have to just tap in, we have to tap into the, the roundness that is already existing. And so as much in the rhythm, like if it's... You know, you see, I love to watch watch it in Spain, and not just Spanish, not just flamenco, but I, I started to notice it cross culturally in different styles of music. The gesture that goes along with with the the playing of the instrument or the music or the singing in flamenco, it's this gesture. I'll show you. It's this thing with the head. They always do that. It's like Indians do that too, a slightly different version. But you know, they're it's a perfect roundness, and then they get a little roundness in the pelvis. Like, yeah, I had a teacher actually who was like, he's like, <laughs> he was like grinding his pelvis into the chair. I was like, damn, you know, because I always say, Flamingo, you got to play with balls. And he really, I mean, he, you could feel it. Like, you could, you could feel the energy at that play. He was doing this, and you could feel like that was the source of the energy, and it was just coming up through him, out his hands and out the guitar. It's like, bam, you know. You know, and so, and that's really, that, so there's like that roundness in the pelvis, which translates into roundness in the hand and the head. And then, of course, in the sound and in the breathing and all to see it's all together. It's not any one thing or it's not any, you know, it's not any one thing in isolation. It's like, it's a, all simultaneous, you know what I mean? Every aspect, but connecting to this basic idea of just fluidity, which is unfortunate that in one way that they access this in flamenco is a lot through drinking and drugs. You know, they, they take the shortcut to a little bit of removal of, of the intellect and the kind of dryness, and they cut right to this very sensual experience. Now we have the benefit of, of finding it here the legitimate way, no drugs, no alcohol, and, uh, and just tapping into that here, but thinking of it more through the breathing and more through the heartbeat, you know, and just tapping into it and without the, the aid or the, you know, <laughs> the distraction of chemicals. But, but it's very much about that sensual aspect and it just turns into this, like you, I mean, you literally, you know, you hear the sound itself, it's, it has a life. It's not just up. It's boom. And the room, it's part of the, you play with the room. And it's, it's all, you know, it's all together. I grew up, I, I didn't grow up, I, <laughs> I did not grow up in Spain. I went to Spain and I saw where some gypsies grew up in these caves in Granada. And they have a special construction. It's fascinating. It's, it blew me away, actually. They have a construction. It's like the coded construction that they build these caves into the, 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 they build these homes, dwellings, into the caves, into the hillsides in Granada. They have these arched rooftops, which they have, they can do them one length deep or two lengths deep, but they can't build it, at, they have to build it a certain shape, and then if they want the, the room, the house to be longer, 
they build a whole second section, but they have the sections have these domes, and we went in there because there, some of them are open to the public. You, you go, you snap your finger, and it's like, whoosh. and you realize that these guys grow up in a house like this. They're a baby, and they're seeing their grandfather who's had his whole life to mellow out into it. You know, he's not anxious to sing. He goes, and the house does it for you. And you grow up, and we know these guys, like Chusco and Jose Fernandez, when they talk, they're like, hey, hey, me gusta. Sí. I mean, when they talk, you know, that's like the way they talk. It's, you know, they're like, hey, and you see the lips. It's like, the lips are like water. I mean, it's really amazing. That this is the way they talk. And then they get on the guitar, and it's like, you know, it's no, there's no... There's no disparity, there's no gap between what they're saying, how they're talking, how they move when they talk, and when they're doing music. It's just the way they are. And so that, to me, is one of the... That's more in, important to me than the, the musical content, is that, you know, that feeling. And so if, you know, if we can convey that, I think that you know, we only have an hour today anyway, so we're only going to get so, so far into the music. But I think if we can get a, sen get a sense of that aspect, that is something that can really carry over, you know, much beyond one hour here, you know, is just this sense of, mm, and it's very sensual, and it's very emotional, you know, fl flamenco guys, Jose Fernandez, he's a, he cries, you know what I mean? It's like, you go away, he starts crying, you know what I mean? He's like, the, the, the connection is very, you know, the connection between the music, the movement of the body, and the personality is very seamless. You know, it's all, you know, they talk about, you know, living your art or something like that. You know, it's, flamenco is, is, is that. Flamenco is, you know, flamenco is not, they have, flamencos always say it, flamenco is a way of life. You know, it's a kind of a very vague statement to make. But these are some of the ways in which that, a statement like that, you know, makes sense. It's like, it's, flamenco is the way you put food into your mouth. Flamenco is the way you make the food. Flamenco is the way, you know, it's all those things. It's, and, and the rhythms and the music itself are merely a reflection of that basic essence, really. So understanding the essence, one can, in a sense, go off on your own and figure out, thinking of those basic ideas, you can take the ideas and do anything you want with that basic essence. And in a way, that becomes flamenco. I mean, that's the way they approach it, like... I had a teacher who also on the side had a little fi fried fish stand and he would say, he put on his card, Juan del Gastor, flamenco guitarist and olla flamenca, which is a flamenco pot, an olla is a kind of a pot, so he said a flamenco pot, you know, flamenco cook, you know, it's like, because he cooks with sabor, you know, and he cooks with soniquete, this feeling, you know, it's the way he is and it's flamenco, so. Okay. So, uh, can you say something about the breath? Uh, about the breath of... Yeah, that is... Um, well, that, 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 that is the beginning and the end of, of our lives, you know. And the beginning and the end, because when the breath is gone, the song will take a new breath and it will continue or when the breath is done then it's it's uh it's it's also the end you know and uh my exploration of of the breath is is still very new i'm i i'll spend the rest of my life seeking that question uh, i don't have an answer for that but i can tell you taught me a lot about the roundness like Juanito said there is an element of the wind and of the water and of of all of those things that 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 is um one of the biggest things that I think anybody ever told me was breathe they never said breathe with it they didn't say follow the rhythms with it they just said breathe and that was really that was really big to me and I, and and I'm still exploring that we're going to go on and let's 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 feel some uh, I, I think the, the, the what we should do now I mean we can 
we can go over tangos at another time, which is a 4-4 four, four rhythm, but let's, let's just, I think what we'll do is we'll get into the neutral, and, and there are two kinds of palmas, and we, we should start there. Two, there. There are many different sounds that'll come over, but they come from palmas sordas. So if you take your hands, it should make like a pump sound. Okay. Yes, those, are, those, those are called palmas sordas. Okay. These are called palmas claras. Um, if I go like that, then uh, we'll hold the palmas. And, and if I'm not, then we can, we can do it. So let's do palmas claras. Is when you clap into, and you, you, you have to search your, yourself, but um, one, one thing you can do is, is place your hands this way and feel that hole in, that hole in your hand, that reservoir. That'll make a, that'll make a clara sound. Okay. Okay, that's good. So what we're going to do is do palmas, and remember, palmas you should you should you should you should have them inside you when you're doing them. I, I used to always I used to always do my palmas out when I first started. I'd be like, ow ow ow, and really the palmas are they're they're in here, you know. And so so remember that. So let's go ahead and we're going to do something. There's, this is a rhythm called bulerias, and we're going to do our palmas in neutral. So just stick with me. I'll do the accents. Don't worry about accent sending. In fact, don't don't accent. Just take the flow of it. Uh, let, let me go. Let me go on, and I'll give you a signal. And remember to keep them very quiet because we should be able to hear. Every everybody should be heard, and it, it, it should be it should be an interior thing. The palma. Continue this. Don't follow me. Hold this one. Bundo, 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 bundo. Tu 
por ahí viene tu madre ¿Quién es que la culpa tiene que nuestro querésao acabe? ¿Quién es que la culpa tiene que nuestro querésao acabe? De las cosas del querer, no hay nada que tenga aplicación. Porque el corazón te manda encima de la razón. Porque el corazón te manda encima de la razón. Go ahead and put them in neutral again. Let's do some. Thank you. That was very good. You just did bulerias, and I'm a, I'm a little bit jealous because it took me about three years to do what you did now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's bulerias. La verdad, they used to say, just start counting back and forth uh, from 12 and end on 12 for about two years and then come back. And, and, then, and then the interesting thing about Spanish, because you don't say it, and 12 and 13 is, Doce, trece, that's syllables. So we say un dos. So we go, we count to ten and then repeat one, two, twice. <laughs> in flamenco. So in other words, a cycle would sound like un dos, un dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, un dos, un dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. And so, you know, so, so, so now, now, that I, now that it's in me, I can say it, but it, man, that was really a, a really tough thing, you know, and I never got to, I, I could see how they would feel it, but I never felt that myself. And you can see how that feel, how, how, how in between. an infinity and an eternity in, in between those claps, the, the palmas. And that is the thing that really attracted me to flamenco too, is, is I, I, I used to see what was there and I never could feel it myself. I could feel it when they did it, but when I started, you know, it's nice to, to, to start with a taste of where you're, where you're you know, what, what, are you, what are you going for in, 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 in your art? I see a painter begin. I see, I, I watch my friend paint and I used to sit there and I, and I would say, I would tell him, just paint. He'd say, but I, I want to talk to you. I said, I don't want to talk to you. I want to watch you paint. I'd pretend I'm not here. And I'd say, but I want to talk to you. It was really hard, but until we finally got to the point where I could sit there and watch him paint, mm -hmm. I would see him walk up with a, with, with a charcoal, right? And, and I mean, this, is, this, is, this was beautiful to me. And, and, and he'd walk up, and I, and I just like watching these singers, before you sing, and, or a guitarist, what do you do? You, 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 feel, you feel the water, you listen to the fire, like we always say. And I would see this guy walk up, and his name is Adrian Martinez, beautiful painter, and he, and he would walk up with his charcoal, and he would go. And, and it's amazing, you would say an artist would, must have graceful hands. I, I haven't seen a great painter that, that really has graceful hands yet. It's like they hold it kind of weird, you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? 
and and he would walk up with with like a like he looked like a stork kind of, and I'd watch his body and I would say okay and I go, and I was he went and he would be, and and I would this was all silent right and I went and he'd look at me yeah and then he would and then so after seeing he he made all of these circles and I say it's true. This is round. Everything is. It should be. And that's what he would paint too. And then, whoa, well, once he started painting and he'd mix his colors and I would say, I want to sing like him. And so I would study him painting. And I, and I still study him. I look at his paintings and, I, and, I, and I, can see his, I can see his first stroke. You know, I know him that well and, and, and that's, that's the way I want to teach. And that's the way I want to, to share the rhythms with, with, with people who, who, who are truly seeking that it, that substance that is between the whatever else it is between you know and i know this is the place for it there, there's other rhythm workshops you go oh, one two three four one two three four no one one two three four one two and 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 i think i was people tried to teach me like that all my life and everything i've learned and um that never worked for me and and it, it, and thank god i didn't learn most of the crap they were trying to teach me you know and 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 the things that i did learn you know my my father would tell me you were going to learn how to break a horse come here and he and he would get some grain and he would walk up to it to it and he would and and the horse would eat and he would say and i would do that and he would say good you're you you got the lesson that's how you do it that's all he taught me and I, I like to be taught that way, and I and I and I like to learn how to teach that way, and I like to learn that way, you know. And, and so here we are, and, and we're experiencing each other in this round way. That's that's round. It's redondo, to gain the trust and the love of, of of the animal that is one day going to bear you and carry your life, you know, and and can end your life, you know. And so the circle makes sense. I, I saw the rhythm in that, you know. And so we, I think we should go for palmas again, and this time I'm going to count it orally so you can hear what you're doing. Let's do some bulerias again. Otro pesaita, Juanito. Otro pesaita, Juanito. And, 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 and your palmas, don't be afraid to feel them from here, from down in your hips, you know, and don't, don't, be, don't, be, don't be ashamed to, to, to get down to that place where, where you groove. You, I mean, what's the first thing when, 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 you, when you hear some music, the, the first place it hits is like your neck and your shoulders, right? And, and it's always rooted down here, it feels like to me, when you, you hear some song. I, people say, well, what about your favorite song on the radio? Well, the, I don't listen to the radio, so I, don't, I haven't known what that's like in a long, long, long time. But when a song comes up that I really love, I see it. Mm, that's the first, you know, you see these dancers and they do something that really gets you and your neck kind of gets you. But it's, so, so feel those places. Let's, I'm going to correrlo, por favor, Juanito. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Un, dos, un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. 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 Un, dos, tres, cuatro, Six, eight, ten, twelve, three, six, eight, ten, twelve, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, six, nine, ten, twelve, three, six, eight, ten, twelve, three, six, nine, ten, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, ten. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four. Twelve. la vía si sí, yo me acuerdo de ti yo me acuerdo de ti patoita la vía saca la saca la saca la saca la saca la lleva que la vía doma que la vía doma saca la saca la saca la saca la saca la lleva I think that what we're, what what is important is I, we have um, the rhythm that we're going to learn is bulerias, and the drum group has harnessed the buleria. Okay, now that's what that's that's how it started. Every, uh, a lot of old old time flamenco singers are are known because they they have this amazing weaving between that rhythm and the guitars. It's it, it, it's amazing to hear them and to imagine that in the early 1900s people were were having fun that way and working and living that way. The flamenco rhythms and flamenco history didn't have a guitar and dance until the late 1800s. Before then it existed in, with the cante, the singing alone. And um, that, that is a big, a big part of the evolution is when, when there was, um, there were people who called out, the, the first aficionados of flamenco would start sitting outside of the frawa, the forgery, where people made, made uh, gypsies, would have their steel shops. And they'd be sitting going, ting, 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 ting. Let tu querer era lo mío. Let tu querer era lo oh, mío. And they would work and people would just sit outside and say, wow, let's have some wine over here. Let's have a little, you know, so of course a little wine, some singing. What's next? A guitar, no? So, so, so we have the dance also because because if you know early Indian gypsies always had the the footwork right, and so that was just a, a lot of potential about to happen. That's where the that's where the rhythm blooms. It, it, it is a, it is important to have an understanding and and a feel and 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 a, the entire ritual of of learning these rhythms is very important to me. Um, and I thank you for your patience and for your respect to the art form that, that is feeding me now. 
um, it was very nice to, to have shared and cultivated and planted those seeds. I think one problem with society and with, with the thinking and in, in the way times are, are, are working now is people people don't know how how to first nurture their land and then plant seeds and then nurture and irrigate the seeds and then one day you have fruit, you know. That's we did that in the drum group and that was beautiful, but that was after we after we had this, this really nice discussion. And I think one, one, one thing that I want to definitely remember is the people who took the time with me when, when they taught me the rhythms. I, there, were, there, were kids, there were people who were coming along with me, people who started before I did, who still think that flamenco is just, and, 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 and Cuban drumming and everything is just to take and, 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 and devour, and, 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 and that's why it never grows roots in their souls, you know. I know that our souls are together in this way because I've shared this story and it has been accepted and that kind of that that kind of gratitude is very important to me I also feel that you know when when a person serves a meal anywhere we eat it and we say thank you and we're gracious and I feel that my words have been accepted that way and I wanted to honor all of you men in this way thank you and now we're going to get to the buleria rhythm accent on 12 3 6, 10, and 12. I'll give you an example. Um, let's, uh, I'll, I'll do this one by myself. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's one of them. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, so, so, so anywhere you feel like breathing within that, you, you, you'll, you'll end up breathing where the beat doesn't go. And so that's a good way to, to keep, I mean, to remember that that's going to be your sacred space, the sacred space that we talk about, which is between the, the, between the beats. And it's funny that that's where your breath is. That's going to be your next bit of life that comes back to you and allows you to continue. So I think that has something to do with the magic of what happens between the beat. So let's go, let's once again. Ole. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is add our hands to it with palmas sordas. So, we turn our hands and we make a cup. Let's get, go ahead and experiment with the sound a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, now, what we'll do, when I say, hey, we'll be quiet. And, and when I say, anda, and you hear me speaking with my mouth, then we'll start counting again. This is the ritual of putting the buleria in our body. We, we put everything in our bodies by repetition, and this is one of the dances that, that is done to teach bulerias and to, to put the rhythm in you, and we're going to go through it. This is how it was done for me, and this is the only way I can teach it. Um, let's start again. Okay, no, no hands until my hands come, but we'll start with our mouths. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, one, two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the rhythm is always the thing that'll get you, you know, no matter, you know, your voice, your voice, but the rhythm, the, the your, your footwork, the dancer can have strong legs and, but, but without, without this, it's really, it's really hard to tie it all together, but then you see what a, what a pulse it is. And if Joaquin were here, we can, or, or a, a dancer, but, you know, we would have him. You know, and, and so that's, that, that is really the true artistry is a guitarist right? in a flamenco, the, the kind of the, the trinity is a singer, a guitarist, and a dancer. And when you see that, this, the, that, that feeling that we had, that boom, that, that boom, that pulse, it just, it, it, it comes from within you and it, and it comes out. And when you see it, you're so much a part of it because you're all in that vein, because you understand that vein. You know, it's, it's just like, it's, it's, it's like a person who understands the way cells hold together a, a tree and can look right into the tree, you know, and understand it as it grows. And it's the same sort of thing. This rhythm is that sacred. All rhythms are that sacred. So I, 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 I want to, to pay respect 
to all of my teachers, it, it's been it's been a beautiful thing to have all of. It, it's been a blessing, and I have to say thank you to God because I I've always I, I talk, I've talked to different people at different men at different times, and I always say when I'm about ready, that's what they say, right? Your teacher just arrives, and and I've learned all of these things in that way, and um, I want to give that to you as a gift, and also give you give you the responsibility of of having that and of guarding it and of 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 loving it because when you hold it close to you in that, in that way the flamencos are going to start coming to you too you know thank you